Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Simon with a new series voted for by you guys. Um, kind of like a collaborative effort from the guys on YouTube and the guys on Patreon. The guys on YouTube suggested a new set of shows that we should watch. And the guys on Patreon voted for the two shows that we should watch. Um, one of the shows, well this was actually the show that won the overall vote. Uh, it was Young Justice. Uh, so we're going to be watching this every Wednesday. Um... And then we're going to have Fate Slash Zero, which is the second show that came runner up on a Saturday. As mentioned, if uh, you're worried about there being too many animated shows or animes, don't worry. We're going to have a lot more live action shows coming in the future. Because um, we've got shows that are ending soon, so we're going to have to replace them with something. But yes, with regards to Young Justice, don't really know all that much about it. I'm going to be honest. Um, I know that it's a story of a younger version of Justice League. Um, which, by the way, is a film I've still not seen because I'm terrible at catching films when I should. Um, but again, I'm coming at this from the perspective of someone who doesn't have a lot of knowledge of comic books. Um, so forgive me if there are references or appearances by characters which normally would make people very excited and I'm just there like, who's that? What did that mean? Not sure. Um, you know, it's part of the learning experience that I've had through many of the comic book shows that I've watched. Um, I do have a... I'm getting a better knowledge of these sort of characters and the backgrounds because, you know, through other shows that I watch, it keeps me informed. Um, but yeah, with regards to this show, what I'm hoping for is a fun show that has, um, you know, a lot of entertainment... Decent stories to it, you know, some decent character development. Um, I'm hoping it's not going to be too childish, because, you know, there is a threat sometimes with cartoons that they can be based too much um, towards a younger audience, and the storylines can be a bit too simple. Um, so, but I'm sure that you guys wouldn't have suggested a show, you know, that I probably wouldn't have liked, you know. But we'll see. You know, I'm hopeful. Um, so, yeah, just to give you guys an idea as to the level of knowledge that I have going into this and the experience that I have I know nada about this show other than some of the characters and you know obviously it's in the DC universe um I know it's only two seasons long um so it's not all that lengthy um which is probably a good thing I mean unless I end up really enjo enjoying the show to an extreme amount and then I'm like no why is this got to end who knows? Um, that could well happen. So, yes, let's jump in and uh, let's take a look at the first episode. July 4th. Independence Day. Is it, Do they still celebrate Independence Day in the DC Universe? Is that Mr. Freeze? That's got to be Mr. Freeze, surely. Eyes to meet you. That wasn't an ice pun. My family has other plans. He just killed that family. They're dead. You can't survive being frozen. Batman. Batman? I was wondering when. Robin! Batman! Okay. Star City. This is where Arrow is, isn't it? And speak of the devil. Oh. And he shall appear. Finally. Arrow and Robin Hood. I, I don't know who that other one is. Hilarious. Can we go? Today's the day. Today's the day. Pearl Harbor? What is it? Everyone who can fire Frost is attacking. Aquaman! That man! Don't tell me you're not excited. Right now, my king, I'm more focused on the matter at hand. I don't know who that is. Today's the day. Oh, Flash. Kid Flash. Stealing eyes? Seriously? Isn't that a bit cliche, even for Captain Cold? Oh, that's Captain Cold. That's Come snart. On. We don't have time for this. You're not Wally. Well, I guess you are, but... Oh, 
calm down, kid. Oh, please. You'll chat it up with the cops with Bob. I know these two. Cold even. No. I know these no three. Way. I know Captain today Cold. Is the day. Everyone's excited. What is today? I'm guessing it's some kind of meetup. It's like it's Christmas for everyone. Is it superhero Christmas? Is that what it is? Hello. There's something went wrong with Ang. Aqualad. It looks like it looks like Ang and Iron Man merged together and had a baby. And of course, our library. Aqua Kid? Was it or Aqualad? Did you just call them? Quick debrief to discuss the coincidence of four ice villains attacking on the same day. I need is respect. So he's the arrogant one. Us like kids. Worse, like sidekicks. You are a sidekick. You're kidding, right? You're playing their game. Why? Today was supposed to be the day. Step one in becoming full-fledged members of the league. Uh oh. Don't turn your back on the heroes. You're not ready. And you are? Stay put. Listen to Batman. Glad you didn't bring you know who? Indeed. Who? I don't know who. Bye, Ang Iron Man. Iron Ang Man. Is it that easy? How are you doing that? Same system as the Batcave. Oh. Did Batman not think about that? Cadmus, genetics lab here in DC. Why do I get the feeling that this is a much bigger problem than they realize? Don't stand right next to the fire, guys. There you go. That's better. No. Flash boy. Kid Flash. Flash boy. Whoa. That's a demon looking thing. <laughs> What's that doing in a building underneath the ground? They also don't seem to notice them. Oh, spoke too soon. What the fuck is that? No. I have no idea what this is. So if they're getting like the adult Justice League in there as well as the young Justice League, are we getting any adult villains as well? Uh oh. Doctor Desmond. Tell me, Guardian, what part of no interruptions did you not understand? Oh no! I recognize Rene Aubergenois, whatever his name is. Reports three intruders. Ah, the file's triple encrypted. I, I can't. Don't move! Oh shit! Wait, Robin, Aqualad, Kid Flash. At least he got your name right. <laughs> I know you, Guardian. Take him down hard. Oh shit. Oh shit. So these little BCs have plans of their own. I was not expecting like alien beasts in the first episode of the show. I thought we'd get like a cutesy cheesy villain. You know? Okay. They're going down. down. Dude, out is up. Excuse me, Project KR, it's down on sub level 52. Hold. Oh shit. It's the mole ripoff. Is he for Project KR? Is he somehow influencing these creatures? Ow! What a slide tackle! Red card. He's gonna go before they can. Come on, you're not very quick. 
Superman? Are they cloning Superman? Or is that... What? Is that the real Superman? Krypton. AK little R, the atomic symbol for Krypton. A clone force grown. Oh. Sixteen weeks from DNA acquired from Superman. So they're making a Superman. mini Superman. No way the big guy knows about this. Solar suit allows him to absorb yellow sun radiation twenty-four seven. And they're still in there with the weapon. We can't get the door. He is a weapon then. Use your telekinesis. I have tried to no avail. Useless. This is a debacle. Who are the board of directors? Is Doctor it the gnomes? gnomes inside KR. The gnomes are the directors, I reckon. This is wrong. <laughs> we can't leave him like this. Set him free. Do it. Oh shit, is he gonna break them out? Is he gonna be the young version of Superman? They're just gonna tell him, yeah. They're just gonna tell him, attack. Oh, taser. Not working. <laughs> oh, well done, Aqua lad. He's like an electric eel. Where's Kid Flash? Oh, okay. Attaboy. And they're all dead. End of episode one. End of show. Okay, so, not quite what I was expecting. Um, I was expecting, like, a very kind of easy introduction to the different members of the Justice League, or the Young Justice League, as you would call it. Maybe a, a bit of a, you know, villain of the day, very kind of cheesy. Um, you know, just give them the opportunity to show what they can do, and just set us up to really just enjoy a couple of light-hearted adventures, I guess before they really got into, like, a storyline. Um, I wasn't sure, like, how much we would see of the adult Justice League. Um, certainly more, I we got more than I expected, which is nice because I know who they are. Um, and, yeah, the very first episode, we're getting them... They're infiltrating some kind of... I'm a bit confused as to how much the Justice League know about this project because they certainly know that Cadmus exists. That they know there's a secret research lab underneath the main building. Who knows? Why was there a fire in the building in the first place? Who knows? Um, What's the real purpose? Why are they building a weapon based off Superman? Who knows? Um... But I can totally see them bringing young Superman to their side. Um, Superboy, I don't know what they call him. So you basically would have then the young version of Superman, the young version of Batman, the young version of Flash, the young version of the Green Arrow, presumably he would come back, and the young version of Aquaman. So that's five. I'm gonna, I've got to assume there's got to be more than just five that are going to show up. You know, where's the female representation? You know, there's got to be, there's got to be a girl that comes into this. Has Wonder Woman got a, like, sidekick? Um, who knows? But no, it was certainly an enjoyable first episode. Um, interested to see where this goes. Like, not sure how they're going to get out of this. You know, there's talk there of, like, we can't let them leave. As in, you know, and they're not in a position to defend themselves right now. So, uh, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, we'll pick this up next week with the second episode. If you did enjoy it, leave a comment. Let me know because this is the first time I, I do enjoy the first time I watch a show. I always like getting like specific feedback um, on, you know, obviously what people think I will think of the show, what my reaction to it. Um, 
Because, you know, I don't want to react to something if people don't enjoy the reactions all that much. But hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Um, but, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.